Cardiff, woo! <laughs> Cardiff Half 2024. This is the video you clicked on. This is the video you're getting. <laughs> this down here is our race inventory. We've got the vest, the numbers, we've got the pens, green and white, of course. We've got the gels. High five, because we can't afford the Morton ones. <laughs> Haley's gone for the Adidas Adios Pro Freeze. Cheeky, trusted marathon shoes with the more mile socks. I've gone for the Alpha Fly 2s and the classic Nike socks, also with four gels. So the race starts at 10 o'clock and we get into our pens about quarter past nine. Yeah, we just had to look that up because I didn't believe it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it started at nine, so <laughs> luckily that is tomorrow morning. We're prepped for 10 o'clock now. I found out an interesting little question I wanted to ask out. We normally have a little ritual, I don't know, it's second race in Vegas so it might not be a ritual after tomorrow, but let us let us know in the comments, the day before a big race when you're actually away at a hotel, what do you normally go for as meal prep before a half marathon or a marathon? Haley's go-to currently is a lasagna. <laughs> there seems to be, we always want to go to Italian but there never seems to be one actually like near us, so that's, that's always like the best sort of pub. Italian food you can yeah, get. Yeah, Hayley's gone for a lasagna because that, that worked in Brighton, so yeah, it might work in Cardiff. <laughs> I just went for a chicken pie. Pretty <laughs> so rogue choice. It's quite rogue, I've never gone for that. And also let us know if you took part in this race and what time you did, because it's going to be interesting. Look at the forecast here, I think it's about to be raining all morning, so yeah. as a special little <laughs> gimmick, I went into Lidl absolute wow. bargain so i'm going to be repping that on the start line i reckon you'll be sad if you have to get rid of it so my pb is 116.47 and Haley's is 144.12 that was, <laughs> that was good. pretty good i'll put the paces of our current pace and time and i'll also put the time and pace we're hoping to get that won't change for me <laughs> I'll just be happy to be close to it again. I don't want to be rushing. I want to be content, ready, and prepared. Because I never am at these races. I never do a warm up. I just get in the position and hope. There are paces tomorrow as well. Not for you, because you're no right pacer. behind the elites. Normally. That'll be basically your paces, the elites. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there are 115 paces, but for tomorrow, they're starting at 130, so it's kind of speedest if you're talking about it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you can volunteer it. to do it. They're starting at one thirty and going up in 15 minute increments yeah. basically. So I have a one forty five pace so I'm hoping to try and go out with that and hopefully slow down, slow myself down at the start. Cause I, <laughs> I reckon Haley's going to go out too quick. Yeah, it's the classic. Let's get to bed and let's get ready. <laughs> We're on our way baby, let's go. We're just going to get our numbers on and then head to the start and the race is in two and a half hours. So, pretty prepped for that. <laughs> Walk it's down, sick. feel the atmosphere. <laughs> Hayley didn't manage to eat her breakfast so she's just eating dry eating shreddies. Dry. <laughs> I couldn't have the warm hotel milk, it was like, <laughs> We're currently just following everyone else, like typical yeah. sheep, <laughs> hoping Gee. that that's the way to the start. And I'm munching on a shock of pangs that might have not eaten enough. <laughs> So we are just by the baggage area, it's very well organised, very nice event village. We're going to go and um, lose our coats. Lose our coat. Yeah, a few people have messaged us that they're running too, so good luck. Oh. 
So we're just going down to find our baggage tent. Turns out they're going down in increments of 500 numbers <laughs> and they're starting from the back to the front and I'm number 314. <laughs> so I'm going to have to walk down this entire road to get to my number. And our baggage label already fell off on the way here. <laughs> so. <laughs> in the middle of our warm-up time done nearly a k so far probably get to about 2k then head to our pan but i looked previous year i should be all things going to plan in the top 150 so i need to be more aggressive and push my way forward We're nearly about to part ways. Haley's too quick for me, so she gets in the elite wave and I, I've got to go at the back. Thank you. 
already done. A nine mile training run. And now she's just gone out. <laughs> <laughs> I will put the times yeah, we both did on our faces. And don't forget the paces too. <laughs> yeah, the paces are on our face as well. We both managed a one minute PB, I think. I think I beat Haley by, by second, yeah. a second. I think I got a bit too <laughs> eager in the first half, paid for it second half. I kind of died, <laughs> but it means 75 is still on the card soon. It was a very nice half. Still in the, minute. the only bad bit was mile 12, and then I think I had um, a female Welsh Olympian overtake me, which didn't help at all. She's an Olympian! I don't... Just let it happen! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sadly, I was at the finish line trying to film Spot Haley for half an hour. Completely missed her. I did a classic swim bike run and just didn't get them at the finish. I was waving my um, vest around and then all of a sudden I just saw Haley's face appear. I was weirdly expecting a brighter t-shirt. Yeah. It's very it's bland. Inclusivity, so I was expecting something a bit more bright. I think that's my favourite medal. Got. Wow. But yeah, 29,000 people, that's Haley's biggest race. The question yeah, is, will I... we sign up again? I think I would. Wow. But I always had people buy me, it was great. Now we're trying to navigate back to the car in preparation for our long drive home. In the starting pens, Ian came up to me, he watches the channel, so make yourself known in the comments. <laughs> and let me know, did you get the time you wanted? What was the time you wanted? Um, I think 1.39, so he just wanted to sub 1.40. Oh nice! Um, and he's doing Brighton Marathon again this year, it was oh, his well. first time last year too. <laughs> Um, I had someone from the Aldridge Running Community, Aldridge Running Club, <laughs> came up to me. I think his old PB was 122. He said he wanted 120 and then just casually passes me at <laughs> like K19 with like a seven minute PB as yeah, you do. So he kind of destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> and he built, beat that Welsh athlete as well. But I reckon if it wasn't for him, oh, wow. wouldn't have had sub 76. So I can only say thank you. Debrief on the course. Course was lovely. <laughs> Downhill mostly. Little yeah. little hills every 5k or so. The one at the end I found pretty rough. Right? Yeah, That's mile 12, you look at it and you're like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's a little short, sharp one, just when you don't need it. Yeah, I think like <laughs> if your legs are gonna go jelly, that's where it's gonna happen. Make or so. break. <laughs> But it went well. Went well overall. I would definitely do that again. That's definitely the best half I've done. Oh, I yeah. can't say that. That's definitely the quickest <laughs> half I've done. Haley said that's right. better than Kenilworth. No, it's just the quicker course. <laughs> <laughs> Kenilworth's got the community out there. <laughs> Don't know, for some reason, like the steel drummers. That's oh, like steel drummers cool. <laughs> Classic. Um, Lots of classic power up high fives. Oh yeah. At the end I was having to dodge them because my hands are all <laughs> sticky from the gels. Oh yeah, the choir hadn't even <laughs> set up when I got there, so missed out on some classic church gospels. So just back to the car. Ryan's doing the classic Strava and group chat catch up. <laughs> oi oi! <laughs> Cause um yeah, there's a live tracking link for this so everyone could follow on, which is nice. 
Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, that was quite a walk back. <laughs> I've done. <laughs> hey, 30... you tracked it. <laughs> yeah, I've done 34,000 steps today now. <laughs> Her body battery is five. Yeah, it's plummeted from that race. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably good to stretch the legs out too far. Um, but yeah, we did the park and walk thing, which, so it was a mile and a half, um, probably about a 30 minute walk in. Nice um, to ease it off because we've got about a two and a half hour drive back, yeah. so you can't complain with that stretching out. <laughs> yeah, I reckon we'll be back in this one at some point. Yeah, maybe even next year. Mm, that's plenty for that. <laughs> yeah, it's about 65 quid a go, yeah. so that's and quite expensive. We had the hotel as well. Yeah, hotel was so, about 100 uh, quid. Really special race, really liked it. Winner was about one hour, two seconds, so I've only got to speed up 15 and a half <laughs> minutes and I'll be there. Very doable. Yeah, five <laughs> five minutes a year. I'll be there soon. Yeah, I reckon my next target will be sub one forty. I think it's doable with training. Yeah, I think if Haley trains, easy sub one thirty five soon with the right training and coach. Right. Who's the coach you? I'll be the coach. <laughs> Probably chat GBT. <laughs> well, I do use chat GBT all the time for my training sessions, oh, so tragic man. Can't anyway. go wrong. But thank you for staying around. And also, make sure to check out our parkrun vlog that will be coming soon. Tewkesbury, we had Tewkesbury Park <laughs> on the way down, so that was a good warm up, clearly. The main thing is, my neck never hurt in the run, so... Yeah, you got away with it. I, I got away worried. with it by the skin of my teeth. It always happens at half marathons. <laughs> I go to sleep, wake up and I've like, broken my neck in my sleep. <laughs> I found it so... tricky though, I think from about 10k onwards I was in the pain cave. I was about 20 seconds off my second fastest 10k in that first bit and then I was just hanging on hoping there were more gel stations than there were. <laughs> there was one gel station and one energy drink one. I think I stuck with the water at the second because yeah, I was I like, just, I just had it all. don't know whether to experiment there. But yeah, can't go wrong with that. So we will see you on the next adventure. Woo! On to our next adventure. adventure.